We've talked on the YouTube channel about Bayonetta 3 and this franchise as a whole, guys, moving forward. Bayonetta 3, of course, being the next up-and-coming iteration of this franchise. And I want to talk, guys, in this segment of the show about everything that we want out of Bayonetta 3. There's, of course, a lot of rumbling speculation as what this game could all encompass, but I want to go ahead and talk about everything that we want. I'm going to give you guys the top five things that I want to see, and some of you may agree, some of you may disagree with the things that I want. I would love to hear what you guys want to see out of Bayonetta 3 in the comment section down below. So let's get into it. So, Guys, we have not had a true continuation of this franchise since 2014. 2014's, you know, Bayonetta 2, which came out on the Nintendo Switch in 2018. And so for me, guys, it's been a while since we got a continuation of this franchise. I always felt that this could be a long withstanding franchise as a whole. And one of the things that I really want to see in Bayonetta 3 is like so many other games out there, guys, that I talk about here on the YouTube channel, I want to see a full package. That being single player, multiplayer, and co-op modes. Bayonetta 2 had single player, of course, which is what it's known for, had some multiplayer elements as well. But I really want to see here with Bayonetta 3, they still continue the single player story because that's, of course, very important for this franchise. I think secondly, though, we want to see a multiplayer experience, PvE, where you're going up against whatever it may be, waves of enemies, or if you're going up against, you know, different environments, different types of, you know, going up against the AI with your friends, or if you're doing PvP elements, going up against other people across the globe. Uh, so those are things that I think are really important about having a full package, and then co-op modes also would be absolutely awesome to play with your friends. And the reason why I say a full package, guys, I say this all the time on the YouTube channel, it gives you more reason and it gives you more opportunity to come back to the franchise over and over again. If there's just a single player story, you may very well, after beating the single player story, go on and move on to other games. Whereas if there's multiplayer experiences, co-op experiences, you're going to come back to at least give it a try. And if you like it a lot, you're going to continue and kind of stay, that community will stay together. So that's at number one. At number two for me, guys, is free to play elements. I would love to see Bayonetta 3 kind of follow somewhat of the trend of a lot of these other games that are out here uh, having some free-to-play elements. I'm not saying that the whole game needs to be free-to-play, guys, but I would love to see maybe the multiplayer experience being free to play, maybe some of the co-op experiences, or hey, maybe even the single player story is free to play, and then obviously you pay, if you want to buy the whole package or the whole bundle, you can of course have the multiplayer experiences and co-op experiences. It gives you more reason, that being people that don't know a lot about Bayonetta, they'll come and at least try the game out and see what it's all about, so I think having free to play elements is very important. At number three for me guys, I would love to see existing characters obviously in this franchise, um, you know, but I really want to see some new characters, you know, some new enemies. I would love to see there be similarities, but also differences from the past iterations of Bayonetta. And that goes to like the characters, the enemies, environments, the landscapes, all of those things I think are going to be really important to make sure that this game still feels like Bayonetta, but stands out from the others. At number four for me, guys, I would love to see new moves. You know, I would love to see Bayonetta have, you know, a number of different new moves, a number of new weapons. I would love to see all of, you know, just a lot of a lot of similarities, like I said, but a lot of differences as well. You know, from the weapons to customization, I'd love to see the customization go a pretty long way here, guys, especially with multiplayer elements. I would love to be able to customize our characters um, and have everything you know, really work together in unison. That being like, if you, whatever you do in the single player story transfers over to the multiplayer experiences, transfer over to co-op. That being like your weapons, of course, the skins, you know, all the customization you have with your characters and things of that nature, I think would really help the experience. And coming in guys, last but not least, I would love to see this title, even though I want it to stand on its own and maybe kind of round out a trilogy of Bayonetta titles, I really want Bayonetta 3 to set up the next generation of Bayonetta titles. I want the, you know, the developers, that being like Platinum Games and of course Nintendo being the publisher, I would love to see them have this mindset like, hey, let's make this title, Bayonetta 3, absolutely awesome, the best we can possibly make it. But in the back of our mind, 
we want to make more of these titles. We want this to be a long withstanding franchise, not the end per se, maybe the end of that trilogy, but just the beginning of the future of Bayonetta. But those are the five things I want to see out of Bayonetta 3. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section down below. Let's have a real conversation about it. And for more Bayonetta 3 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.